It's time to see if I learned anything making telephone cables. Had a video on this some time back. I only did it that one time, learning as I went. I understand the basics, but I think it's just more practice than anything else. So we're going to give it a shot here. I have the same tools, the same everything, the same wire, the same everything I had last time. And now we'll stick that in. There's kind of a stop there. There you go. That's perfect. Other side. Stick it in to the stop. Whoops. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that didn't work. It's practice is what it is, which is what I don't have. That's the problem. But they say practice makes perfect, so maybe one year. Should just pull right out. Yeah, just like that. That's how it's supposed to work. I don't know why the little guy gets stuck in there. That kind of sucks. And I remember the the guide on this is just a little too long. The wires are just just a shade too long. So I just want to trim them. Ever so slightly if possible. Maybe the blade is wearing out already? That's possible. Let's try it one more time. Okay, I cut it too short that time, but we get the idea. Okay, so let's go and strip one more time. There we are. We'll get that piece out later. It's got to go in this place. I did it again. That's great. All right, maybe we won't trim it and we'll just uh, make believe it's good. Okay, we'll call that acceptable. The wire with the stripe, the clip goes on the same side. That looks way too long, but it's in there, and the little crimpy guy part right in here should go on the insulation where it's supposed to. Let me just inspectorate that for a moment. Um, not certain on that. Let's try that one more time. It looks, it looks right. Well, I guess we'll give it a shot and see. So that's all the way in. Fully insert this into there. Okay. Once again, clip on the same side as the stripe on the wire. See how that looks. Yeah, okay. I hope it's right on the other end. We're going to find out in a minute. Plug that in there all the way. Crimp, remove, and it's attached. We have our handy dandy tester. Plug it in. That has to go this way, upside down, I think, so it looks right.
yeah, there we go. We got it. Four flashes. Yep. Good. So we made it. All right. So it really just is a bit of a learning curve and practice is really all it is. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's fairly simple. What I'm doing now is, of course, taking the battery out and putting all of my tools back where they belong. It's kind of a shame because I had to break all of this out just for this, and it's kind of a pain to get to and whatever. But I got my cable, and I will show you why I made this cable. And this was why. So we could put the Rolling TARDIS Unicorn Info Globe here, which is currently in red. Switch to green, and it'll run through that right there. I'll shut the light here. Uh huh. Oh, that looks great next to the answering machine. <laughs> that really looks good. And blue. Let's see what it'll display now. The date. Perfect. So, yeah, that looks just awesome as it is. Maybe we'll just let that switch over to red. Yep, there you go. We'll let that cycle one more time. Absolutely brilliant. Awesome. One other thing I got to show you. And here's the other reason the fixed by rolling TARDIS original blue info globe that I had and the WeatherTech TX4000 I think it was right there we'll kill the lights there you go hello hello looks pretty damn spiffy and schmick at the same time let's get a zoom in on that weather station I think the blue is overpowering it but indeed it looks great fantastic all around so with that I thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate it make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye